Method number nine, lens mount replacement, part two, the three levels of difficulty. Now, all lens mount replacements have different degrees of difficulty. For example, here's a Leica lens, and I've got three different replacement mounts for it. One is Pentax, one is Nikon, and one is for Sony. Now, I could put any one of these three lens mount replacements on this Leica lens, but they represent three different levels of difficulty. One is easy to do, one is moderately difficult, and one is extremely difficult. So as you can see, even when it comes to the same model of lenses, there can be varying degrees of difficulty depending upon the mount you're going to be putting on it. Now, before you purchase a lens mount replacement, you need to determine the degree of difficulty and figure out whether or not you think you're able to do it. Now, let's take a look at the three levels of difficulty. The first level, of course, is easy difficulty. Now, when it comes to a lens mount replacement that's easy, all you have to do is take a screwdriver, remove the screws, usually it's anywhere from three to six screws, and then take off the original mount and replace it with the new mount, replace the new mount, and then it's simply a matter of rescrewing all of the screws. In this case, there are six. Couldn't be easier than that. The one thing that you do need to keep in mind is that from a tool standpoint, typically I will use a screwdriver and a tweezers. That's all for easy difficulty lens mount replacements. Now, the screwdriver that I use the most is a small Phillips head screwdriver that I purchased from litex.com on their website. I think it's about six or seven euros. And for the older lenses, you'll use just a blade type of a screwdriver. And again, you can buy that on litex.com or at your local hardware store. But most of the time, 90% of my lens mount replacements, I use a Phillips head screwdriver such as the one I get from Litex. The second degree of difficulty is what I call moderate difficulty. Now moderate difficulty lens mount replacements are basically the same as easy lens mount replacements, but in addition to the steps that I already described for an easy difficulty lens mount replacement, when it comes to the moderate difficulty ones, once you have removed the mount, you also are going to be required to remove one or more easy to access parts that are quite easy to remove. Most of them are removed with the same screwdriver you used for removing the original screws on the lens mount. Now, some of the types of things that you might be removing in a moderate difficulty lens mount replacement include these little fins that are on a Leica R lens, a lens baffle, a spring, or even a rubber gasket. Sometimes the gaskets are made out of metal, mostly bronze. So, moderate difficulty lens mount replacements are not much harder than easy difficulty ones. And just like easy difficulty ones, if you keep the original lens mount and all of the original parts, it's quite easy to reverse it and return that lens to its original condition and you can sell it as if it were never modified in the first place. Finally, the third method of lens mount replacement, the third level of difficulty, are difficult ones or ones that are extremely difficult. For these, you need steady hands, you need some specialty tools, and you need specialized experience. And the more experience, the better. 
Now, if you don't have a lot of experience and you still want to go ahead with it, what I'd recommend you do is go ahead and purchase a used defective lens of the same type that you're going to replace the lens mount on, but buy one that is defective and being sold for parts. Usually you can get these very cheaply. And go ahead and practice on the replica lens that you bought for parts. And once you have it down cold, then you can go and try it on your expensive lens. Now, here are seven examples of difficult or extremely difficult lens mount replacements that I have done over the years. This is what a difficult lens mount replacement might look like. The first one, you have to grind down the two aperture tabs on certain Zeiss and Nikkor lenses exactly 0.2 millimeters. Here's what a 50 millimeter Nikkor lens looks like without the tabs being ground down. And here's that same lens with the two tabs that I ground down. Now, the second difficult example is um, when I had to actually tear out the autofocus mechanism from inside of this Nikkor 105 millimeter F2 DC defocus control lens. I had to tear it all apart and remove all, all of the autofocus mechanism from this lens. Now, obviously, when you do these permanent and difficult lens mount replacements, you sometimes can't go back to the original condition of that lens, and you are going to greatly reduce the resale value of the lens. So keep that in mind before you do these difficult lens mount uh, replacements. Another example is installing a new aperture level uh, lever, installing a new aperture le level lever, uh, remove uh, major parts from deep inside of the lens. Here's a short video on that process. Another type of difficult lens mount replacement that I've done includes relocating existing springs. Another one, making custom springs out of spring stock. In other words, you take a, a standard spring like this, cut it to length, uh, make the special loops on the end, and then install it. Kind of difficult to do if you've never done it before. And the final example is fabricating a custom plastic uh, part uh, for mounting inside of the lens. So as you can see, some of these difficult lens mount replacements are quite complex and can be extremely difficult. Now, how do you determine the degree of difficulty, whether it's easy, moderate, or extremely difficult? Well, I use a three-step process to determine the difficulty. Number one, I would review the Lightex.com installation instructions. Number two, if I still have a question on the degree of difficulty, I would email uh, David Yado at litex.com. His email is info at litex.com. Or thirdly, I'd go to this Flickr page and start a discussion thread asking the folks on this uh, Flickr group uh, what degree of difficulty uh, this lens mount replacement is and maybe if they have any advice for you. Flickr.com slash group slash adapt lenses slash discuss. And finally, if you've determined that that lens mount replacement is more difficult and challenging than you care to tackle, you can always send the lens into David Yado at litex.com in Barcelona, Spain. At the end of this episode, I posted links to three videos showing how other photographers do their lens mount replacements. Please check them out. I think you'll find them quite interesting and educational.
The next video I've posted is a actual lens mount replacement, a close-up that is filmed of me replacing a lens mount on a Zeiss lens. Also, I think you'll find it to be quite interesting, and let me know if you have any questions on it. And the final element of the lens mount replacement uh, series of videos is a homework exercise that I've put together for you. It will really drive home what you've learned in these videos on lens mount replacements. Good luck on the homework exercise. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.